Hey there, my name is Anthony Davis. Um, you can find me everywhere on the cloud as Yoga Fawn. That's yoga underscore F-A-U-N, like the Greek god Pan. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to work on your jump throughs, your Ashtanga um, jump throughs, jump backs. Um, I'm really tired after trying this a few times and fucking up the audio. So bear with me, I'm gonna do the best I can. Um, and just keep in mind that this is a development. This is something you gotta practice every day. Um, but here's what it looks like, kind of. So in Ashtanga, every time we do a pose, on the, when we're seated, we do a vinyasa in between. So here. Okay, that was a little sloppy, but I think you get the point. It takes a lot of core engagement, so here are some things that are gonna help you to get into it. First is incorporate a jump back and a jump forward into every vinyasa. So what that looks like, never jump back to Chaturanga, guys. I don't know why people are teaching this. Um, David Swenson, who's one of, you know, world-class Ashtanga teacher, um, took a workshop with him, and he says, jump back to plank. Here's why. When you jump back, your hands should be flat on the ground and you should be putting weight, see, into your hands. You've already got a strong foundation. Your arms are columns that are supporting your weight. So when you jump back, there's really no transfer of weight into your shoulders. It's already there and you sort of just float back. If you jump back and then oh, bend your arms, you're gonna really fuck up your elbows. Don't do that, okay? So jumping back to plank and then to get forward, you can just get used to little bunny hops with bent knees and then maybe get used to these handstand jumps and eventually you start to flip forward, okay? So incorporate those into your vinyasas and you're already way ahead of the game. Um, the next thing is toe taps. So again, putting a lot of weight in your hands and tap your wrists, okay? But I have to put weight in my wrists. If you cannot touch the floor with straight legs, bring the floor to you, make sure you can put weight in the blocks. They've gotta be stable. Boom, boom, right? Okay, next is Bakasana Pro. So, um, anytime you're in crow, and I'm trying to give you things that you might be doing anyway. So, because let's face it, we're all a little bit fucking lazy and unwilling to put in daily work. So, this way, if you're already practicing yoga, you can just do these things, right? So, every time you come into crow, people tend to have bent arms like this, right? I'm not supporting my core at all by doing that. So, I've got to have straight arms, which means I've got to get my knees way up, straight arms and lean up. Cool? From there, you can do all kinds of fun stuff to work your core. You can lower one leg at a time or both legs very slowly, and you can even lift back up in your crow. I'll show you all those real quick. Okay. And lastly is to go ahead and jump through. So from seated, this is how it starts from seated. You're gonna want your hands about mid-thigh, lean forward, cross your ankles, not your shins, cross here. Because then you're less likely to snag your wrists with your hands, okay? If this is too much, you know, you keep catching your wrists, right, with your feet, then every time you do this, Cross at the ankle, pull your heels in, plant your hands in front of your feet, and kick your feet back, okay? To come forward, get used to just jumping forward and landing in seated. And then eventually, you're gonna jump forward. Oh, I can't quite get it. Well, walk, walk through, and then go. Just do the whole motion. It doesn't matter if it's perfect doing it at all is going to help strengthen your wrists, your core, everything. So just do it. And then, to get the idea and to be able to make it nice and flowing of emotion, you 
bring the floor up to you, make sure your blocks are stable. Try not to get them like this because you might fall. So stack the scoot this way if you need it higher. And I'm going to do the same thing. Ankles crossed, I pull in, I lean forward and bend my elbows. Okay? And then I'm back. And I'm going to try and hover when I jump forward. So that's where you're going. Um, the blocks are going to be useful until you can do it without them. Um, I hope that's super helpful. Uh, again, find me all the internet places that I'm going to plug. Look, I'm going to put a lot of videos together that are hopefully really helpful, that are going to help you improve your practice, get stronger and more flexible, and just be healthier all around. So subscribe, follow me on Instagram at yoga underscore fun. Whatever it is, um, I'm trying to give some stuff to people so that you can develop your practice. Just trying to reach out um, and give what I've been given freely as well. So, pass it on. Um, good luck. This is hard work. Trying to do it every day. Thank you.